October 1st, 2021. It is the 50th anniversary, the 50th birthday of Walt Disney World, and I am so excited to be here at the Magic Kingdom to celebrate. There's a lot going on for the 50th. I can't wait to show you everything. We're gonna see all the decor, all the entertainment, the food, the merchandise, so much more, and the new nighttime spectacular Disney Enchantment. There's so much to do and see. Let's start celebrating, and let's go get into some hijinks. It is only 8.15 in the morning, and this is the busiest I have seen Disney World since before the parks reopened. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Um, it took me over an hour to get here because there was so much traffic. Everyone and their mom is here today. Look at this. They are handing out commemorative guide maps for October 1st. It's unclear if this will also be around as the 50th anniversary continues, but... Um, they are giving out today and you can only get one per person. Let's check it out. On the first page, it gives you a little backstory of Walt Disney World. Only on October 1st, as you exit the park, you can get a commemorative poster, which I'm hoping to get. Um, you have a new Mickey Celebration Cavalcade in their iridescent costumes. They look fantastic. The new Beacon of Magic, each of the park icons are gonna illuminate at night, and I'm so excited to see Magic Kingdom with all the lights. And the new fireworks spectacular show is happening tonight, and from here on out, it's Disney Enchantment. We also have some exclusive 50th anniversary treats. We have the iridescent popcorn bucket. There is this um, kind of adorable and freaky looking burger and you can get some 50th anniversary merchandise. The rest is just a regular guide map. I'm trying to be very careful with it because I only can get one and it's a commemorative map. But, all right, let's 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 get into the 50th. Over in the hub, they have like a little media area and CEO Bob Chapek is here for the 50th anniversary doing an interview. Uh, I wonder who else is gonna be here today. There were 50 gold statues made here as Mickey and Minnie right outside the beautiful 50th castle. You can find them all throughout all four all four parks and for scale like they are literally the size of me these are five feet off the ground these are big they are much bigger than the original statues that were in the hub here's pluto and goofy here's daisy and donald they're so cute oh my gosh oh my gosh you have to come to the purple wall there's a giant stitch on the wall this is an amazing photo op the mickey pumpkins have been replaced with these beautiful cinderella pumpkin wreaths for the 50th anniversary and here she is, she's finally finished. I think she's finally finished. She has so much stuff on her, so many drapes. I love the big 50. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I was really apprehensive about this castle remodel and I actually have grown to really love it. And then if we come over on the sides of the castle, there are some banners for the 50th. And then all the way over here, a banner of some scenes from Cinderella. There's some on the other side as well. And then if you come inside, it's Jacques and Gus Gus. Here is one of the 50th anniversary popcorn buckets. I got the blue one. You could also get pink. There's a green one that apparently is only at like near Liberty Tree Tavern. The lines were so long to get this, almost an hour to get a popcorn bucket. It is so crazy busy here, but look how cute it is. This is really cool. You can do a uh, photo pass photo with the date of the park on it that you were here on October 1st. 2021. Here is one of the 50th anniversary sippers. This is the Minnie Mouse sipper. I got it over at Pecos Bill in Frontierland. Uh, there's supposed to be a Mickey one. I have not seen it. And these are going fast. So if you want one, that might be a thing you have to rope drop <laughs> when you come into the park. And here are the 50th anniversary disposable cups. Pick this up at Columbia Harbor House. You can get them at most places. Isn't that adorable? In the entryway under the train station, there's a new poster for Disney Enchantment, which is the new Nighttime Spectacular premiering tonight. I'm so excited. And we have another one with the world's most magical celebration. So today only, when you leave the park, you get a commemorative poster. So I really wanted to make sure that I got my poster. So I just left the park just now and then went right back in just to make sure I have it. Here it is, it's so cute. It's so beautiful. Unfortunately, this is only for today. They give you a bag for it. I might have to like mail this home because I don't want to ruin this. This is absolutely beautiful and it's so rare. I mean, 
I'm so thankful right now that I get to have this. I'm wearing my pass holder shirt. Why is it long sleeve? It's very annoying. And then the, it's pass holder like that. I gotta go like that. But I had to get a 50th anniversary pass holder shirt. There is a brand new cavalcade, Mickey's Celebration Cavalcade in their iridescent costumes. I'm so excited to see it. Here it is. May Walt Disney World bring joy and inspiration and new knowledge to all who come to this happy place. The Magic Kingdom, where the young at heart of all ages can laugh and play and learn together. Today, our wish remains the same. Thank you to all our guests and cast members for 50 years of memories. When we celebrate together, nothing can be more magical. Okay, huge news. I just left Adventureland and the uh, Pirates Adventure uh, treasure hunt game is now back. This I thought was Dunzo, but they just reopened apparently yesterday. And you can get a map and do your scavenger hunts, but I didn't I, I really didn't think this was gonna reopen. This is awesome. This is so dope. So you go in, you scan your magic band, you say how many people in your party, and then the computer picks for you which map you're gonna do. They have five different maps and we ended up getting Blackbeard. This looks so much fun. So you're gonna go all around Adventureland and find these markings and yeah, this is like a super fun game for kids and you're gonna come back here with your map when you're done. Um, let me know if this is something that you would wanna do, if this is something you've done before uh, and if this is something to take some time out of your day to do. I just wanted to show you, I just walked through the castle and the stage is lined with 50th. It looks so amazing from here right now. There's so many people, it's so bizarre because it just hasn't been people. But I'm glad that even with the uh, welcome show, the castle is still open during the day to walk through because that was the best part. Even though I do love the castle shows, I love walking through the castle. There are a lot of exclusive 50th anniversary snacks all around Magic Kingdom. We're gonna check them all out. We're gonna get a few of them. I'm excited, let's do it. Over in Adventureland at Sunshine Tree Terrace, we can find a 50th anniversary snack. It's melting, but this is called the Sparkling Sunshine and it's sparkling apple cider with the um, orange cream soft serve swirl and it looks awesome. All right, cheers. All right, the top is just the irregular Sunshine Tree Terrace swirl, cream swirl. Um, I'll have to get back to you. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. We have some of the little the apple cider. At first it was very sugary, but I actually really like the flavors together. The creamsicle with the apple, it's really tasty. And it's just so pretty. And it feels like a fun dessert cheers to Disney World's 50th. Over by Jungle Cruise is this popcorn cart and they are serving now a pineapple coconut glazed popcorn for $6.25. Um, it sounds awesome. I'm not going to be getting it today because we have the popcorn bucket, which I would have been able to get $2 refills or $3 refills and we put it in the car. So I'm going to come back when I can <laughs> not pay full price for it. Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. There is a 50th anniversary exclusive the Doomberry Blackberry Ginger Beer with iridescent sugar served with a Haunted Mansion themed straw. Not for me, but if you get this, let me know how it is and if you should 
recommend it or if you don't. We have a new 50th anniversary treat from Storybook Treats, and it is the Snow White Cone. And it is lemon Dole Whip, and it has a chocolate bow, a chocolate bluebird, and on this really pretty blue uh, cone. And it's just so very pretty, definitely Instagrammable. Oh, as we were eating, the band just kind of came out of nowhere out of Storybook Treats. Hi! <laughs> All right, let's give it a whirl. I love lemon dole whip, so refreshing. It's actually vegan too, and it's so good. And I realized I should have said, let's give it a swirl. That would have been a much funnier pun uh, to take our first bite out of this, but I love this. It's nothing really different, but I love the cone. It's super Instagrammable, and I love me a lemon dole whip. Some carts also have these popcorn buckets, this blue round one, and if you're not getting reusable, they also have the, um, uh, disposable ones look ready for the 50th. There's actually a second treat here at Storybooks Treats and it is the Hi Ho Sunday chocolate soft serve topped with chocolate rocks, graham cracker pieces, whipped cream, and hot fudge for $6.99. Here is the Sunday. It's melting away. It doesn't look very pretty if you're looking for an Instagrammable treat, but you know, it's ice cream. Let's give it a whirl. Here we go. It's really just chocolate soft serve. I mean, I like a chocolate soft serve. The crunchy bits are pretty good with it and the whipped cream is very good. It tastes exactly how it sounds. There's really nothing special to it. But, you know, I like it. I love storybook treats, ice cream. And uh, that is, you know, it's another 50th treat. So I had to try it. Let me know if this is something you would get. Next to storybook treats is the Friar's Nook. And there's actually three exclusive 50th anniversary drink, um, snacks and drinks. First, we have the Toad, the Wild Toad Brat Burger, which we saw in the map. We have the Mr. Toad's Dome Cake and the Wild Ride Sour Cherry Slushy. Uh -huh. um, I'm loving all the Mr. Toad stuff. If you're not aware, Mr. Toad's Wild, Wild Ride was the ride where Winnie the Pooh is now. And uh, let's get a Mr. Toad snack. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. I cannot get over this. This is so cute. This is the Mr. Dome's Toad Cake. It's a uh, peanut cake, chocolate peanut butter mousse and a salty caramel center. I can't wait to crack this open, even though I don't want to crack it open because he's adorable and I love it. I love Mr. Toad, but we're gonna eat him now. Oh my gosh, that's the inside. It looks great. I love me some peanut butter. Let's do it. That is some serious peanut butter flavor. That is delicious though. If you don't like peanut butter, you're not gonna like this. You get a little crunchy from the middle. That is, oh my God, this is a good one. It's very peanut buttery and caramelly. Not that salty and salty caramel, but definitely caramel flavor. I love those crunchy pieces inside. This is so good. And it was so cute. I mean, so far this is my favorite snack I've had today. I'm over at Aloha Isle in Adventureland because there are three treats here. They have the Tropical Serenade Float, the Fifi Gigi Mimi, and the Showtime with Jose Float. Um, I'm gonna skip today. It's been a lot of sugar so far, but if you get this, let me know in the comments how they are and if this is a get or a skip. I'm over at Pagos Bill in Frontierland. They have three offerings here. The first one is 1971 meal, which is beef nachos. The second one is the Big Al Double Bacon Burger, and the third is the Bear Track Slushy, which is root beer and whipped cream. So, some good offerings here at Pagos Bill. Over at Tortuga Tavern, we have three offerings for the 50th anniversary. We have a veranda teriyaki burger, veranda chicken strips, and a barbecue pork sandwich. I don't find them very much exciting. There's gonna be other burgers that are special to uh, the 50th, so I'm gonna skip here, but let me know if you get any of these. Um, it's 3.51 and people are already saving their spots for <laughs> Disney Enchantment tonight at nine. So, yeah, I hope I get a good spot for it. This is huge. It is 4 p.m. and I just received for the first time ever a notification from the My Disney Experience app that there is no more park hopping into Magic Kingdom. That is it. We're at capacity. No more. It's not happening anymore. So it's wild. Like, it's wild. It's, I'm telling you, it's so packed here. There, people are so already lined up for these fireworks. 
I still have a couple of things I need to get done before them, so hopefully I'll get a good spot for you guys to see them. But I'm getting nervous. Over in Liberty Square at Columbia Harbor House, there is a few offerings here for the 50th anniversary. First, we have the Doom Burger. It was it was the plant-based uh, crab cake salad. This is the Happy Haunts milkshake. It's a blackberry milkshake. We have the bread bowl with New England clam chowder and the Sea Captain catch, and it's just uh, fried fish with coleslaw. We ended up getting this Sea Captain catch. It is fried fish with coleslaw. I love this black bun. It comes with a side of fries. Let's dig in. Here we go. Oh my God. I have not had Columbia Harbor House since before the closures because they weren't open for a long period of time. And wow, I forgot how good their fried fish is. I really enjoy this bread. The coleslaw is nice and crunchy. This is really just a very good sandwich overall. I love the batter on here. Columbia Harbor House is literally the best quick service in Magic Kingdom. I, I go back and forth between that and Pecos, but it, it always hits. Over at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe, we have a few options here for the 50th anniversary. We have the Waltz Chili Cheese Fries for $6.49. We have the Waltz Chili Cheese Dog Hot Dog, the Impossible Burger to the Moon, the Mission to Mars Burger with uh, mac and cheese on it and the 1971 barbecue chicken meal oh my goodness this is the craziest burger i might have ever seen this is the mission to mars it's a burger topped with bacon mac and cheese and then on top of the bun is crushed cheese puffs what oh i'm ready for the heartburn let's do it oh my gosh all right let's do it I gotta admit, that's a good time. That's a good time. Burger itself is very good. I love the mac and cheese on it. That's that's a great, great thing. And the bacon is always good. Um, and I actually am getting a taste of the crushed Cheetos on top. Doesn't make that much of an impact. It's definitely more of the look of it. Uh, I think that's a really good burger on its own. It looks insane, but it actually tastes so good. Um, that, I think, has been my favorite thing that I've eaten so far. I think even over the Columbia Harbor House uh, fish, which I loved. But that was a really good burger. Across from Cosmic Rays is the Cheshire Cafe. They are offering two drinks. They are offering the all mixed up slushy and the not too late tea. Over in Tomorrowland at Antigraphics, you can get for the 50th anniversary, the Uncle Orville Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow Sunday for $16.99. Uh, the Sunday includes brownies at the bottom, twist ice cream, so vanilla chocolate twist, uh, hot fudge, whipped cream, and sprinkles. Over at the Lunching Pad in Tomorrowland, you have some options here for the 50th. The If You Had Wings Caribbean Jerk Chicken Strips and Waltz Chili and Cheese All Beef Hot Dog. Over at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor is the Banana Boom, traditional banana split topped with Pop Rocks and chocolate fireworks. I scooted over to the Contemporary because there are two treats here exclusive for the 50th anniversary, and they are the 50th anniversary German chocolate cupcake and the 50th anniversary peanut butter banana pie. They are so, so cute. I wanna get both, but I'm only gonna get one, so let's get one. I also wanted to show you the new resort mugs. You have like Mickey and Minnie looking from Runaway Railway. You have all of the resorts on here. You have Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Contemporary. That's a really cute cup. And then you also have this version, which is very spectacular looking with the 50th and the Contemporaries on this as well. Um, so I just wanted to show you what the resorts are doing. And this one especially is doing a lot. Here is the cupcake up close. It is so cute. Let's dig into it, see if it's any good. Real quick, the monorail just came in and that's all decked out. Also, if you're flying into the airport in Orlando, they have a bunch of stuff going on over there for the 50th too. But first, let's dig into this cupcake. So this is a chocolate cake filled with German chocolate and then buttercream on top. Here we go. Whoa, did not expect that. Apparently German chocolate filling means nuts. It doesn't say nuts on the uh, sign, so nut allergy people don't get this. Um, otherwise, it's a really good cupcake. I actually really like the buttercream on this. It's not too much, even though it's 
Disney cupcake. Definitely one of the better Disney cupcakes I have. I normally am not a fan of them because they're too sweet. But not bad, and it's the 50th. Enter the Emporium, and the windows are all decked out for the 50th. Let's see if there's anything new. All the display in here is so cute. The big 50th, we have the Mickey ears, the mini ears. We have Mickey all dressed up in his iridescent costume. I haven't seen this sweatshirt. This one looks new to me. Walt and Mickey 50th anniversary castle puzzle. Minnie and Pluto in their costumes. The Mickey shaped soap pump has a 50th anniversary look to it. You can even dress up in your iridescent costume. Here are the Crocs for my Croc fans. They're very cute actually. There are two different types of mini ears. That's one, that one's more my favorite. And then this is the other one, very sparkly. So you've got this water bottle with all your favorite Disney characters on it. I haven't seen this one, that's a cute button up. New t-shirt, got some sweatpants. I love this child bomber jacket. Even the onesies are for 50th. Ooh, and little Mickey hats. These are really cute. Whole wall of 50th anniversary themed treats. Look at the giant lollipop. That's awesome. Little water bottles. Got a towel. A reusable straw. That's kind of cool. A park pal. This cutlery set with this case. Ooh, that's actually really nice. A 50th anniversary truck. Here are the ears up close. A fanny pack. We have blue magic bands and we have pink magic bands with Minnie and Daisy. Keychains and looks like a pin. Yep. A magnet. Altoids. A lanyard pouch and a souvenir booster pack. Um, I need this. I love this. This is a chip clip. It's useful and it's cute. I love when things can do two things. And we'll end on one more shirt, which I love this shirt. This is a really nice design. One more Starbucks 50th anniversary tumbler. Over at Big Top Souvenirs, there are stuff only available for today, and I literally cannot get in there. There is a virtual queue. People were literally here before 4 a.m. Um, so here's what they were offering. Some things are already gone. They had a magic band and the ornaments, they're gone. There was a water bottle, a poster, a mug, a trading pin, shirt, and this stuff is uh, only available today, so I'm sure the eBay resellers will um, you know, make you pay a lot for it on eBay, but unfortunately I'm not getting in there, and if you weren't here today, unfortunately you're not either. It is 7.15, less than two hours until the public premiere of Disney Enchanted. I am in the very middle. I'm sitting down. I'm afraid to even get up to lose my spot. It is crazy. The lights just turned on. Um, yeah, I it, it is super, super packed. So I'm right like a little before Casey's and Plaza Ice Cream. I wanted to be a little bit into Main Street because the projections do go onto Main Street. That way I can get most of the castle in the center. And then if I ha uh, have to, you know, swoop over and you can see the Main Street projections. I'm so excited for this. There is a special magic that flows through this land. The magic of fantasy. Swirling with pixies made more brilliant by the light that lives within you. It inspires us to wish upon stars, follow our hearts, and find our happily ever actors. Tonight, as we gather together under the spires of this majestic castle, our dreams ignite the magic to create a beacon shining out and celebrate. 50 years of the most magical place on earth. Um, their park icon have these beautiful lights. I can't wait to see Epcot's tomorrow in person. I saw it in pictures already. It looks amazing. Uh, look, it even illuminates into the trees. This is just so beautiful. It's 8 o'clock right now. We got a little more ways to go. Another hour before fireworks, but I'm so excited. Listen, everyone, I'm just telling you right now, I'm going to do my best. But the reality is I'm under 5'2", and everybody is mad tall. And I don't want to be the person that puts their thing all the way up there and blocks other people's views. So I will do my best. Fingers crossed. Here we go.
Tonight we gather in a most enchanted place, one overflowing with the magic of dreams come true. Those who venture here filled with hope in search of this magic leave inspired, changed by what they discover. If you dare to embark on this journey, you too may find what you seek, and perhaps something even greater, so long as you simply believe. projections and I love the additional projections on Main Street USA. I thought that was really lovely. People are already saying it's not as good as Happily Ever After. I'll let you decide that. I love both shows. They're very different shows. Um, I think Happily Ever After was more, I don't know what the word is, like more, it had more oomph in it, but this one was very, um, very emotional and I think that w they did a really good job and I, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you think yeah. of this show in the comments. Let me know if you like this or happily ever after more. Or if you're like me and you're like, team wishes forever. <laughs> well, my dudes, it's been a long day, but a fabulous 50th anniversary, 50th birthday for Walt Disney World. I had a great time. I hope you had a good time following along. I am so tired. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that comes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram, at Magical Hijinks. Make sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive content and bonus content. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.